Hey everybody, it's Kelly and I am scrapping another Christmas photo. I'm going to use this wood paper as my background. I just love wood a textured or wood, it's not really textured, but kind of the wood papers. This one is from L Studio. It's from the Tis the Season collection and the paper is called Evergreen. That was last year's collection from them or actually two years ago now kind of because this was 2016. And I also am going to use that striped bag there. That is from uh, Pebbles, but I don't have a specific collection. It's just from 2014. I'll use that to map my photograph. Then I'm going to use that Santa paper there and I cut a chunk off of it. And that paper is from Lily B Christmas Cheer. It's Santa's sleigh. That collection, because Lily B no longer exists, is from 2012. Now I decided I wanted some green in here and I wasn't quite sure how to do that because I need to separate the red bag from the Santa paper. It doesn't look right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the Santa paper down and then I'm going to use that Christmas tree border which is from L Studio Joyful Collection and it's the making the list paper. So that's the border from that paper and I'm just going to use that to separate the Santa paper from the wood border first. That's the first thing I want to do. Uh, it gives it a little bit more of a transition. Usually when I do this, when I put two papers together like that, I like to use some sort of transition most times. So either a border strip or washi tape, something like that. And beside, so I'm looking at this now and I decide I really like that polka dot paper, but I'm thinking of, I was thinking about using this green paper and decided that instead I was going to use that to separate the photo as a, a small photo mat. Because there's so much red in that photo, it needed some sort of green behind it to help separate it from the bag. And it just looks so much better on that green paper. So the green photo mat paper is from L Studio Joyful. And that is the Celebrate paper. And I think that was the 2015 L Studio collection, if I remember correctly. I've used L Studio in my December Daily for the last three or four years, so it's hard to remember. So then I decided I still definitely wanted to separate the Santa paper from the bag, and I would do that with the green and very traditional sort of Christmas greens and reds here. So that green polka dot paper is from Doodlebug. It's the Petite Prince in Grasshopper Swiss Dot. So I've cut down a little bit of that paper. I don't have a ton there. And now I'm going to lay down my photo there. Now I could use that bag to put journaling or extra photos or something in there. I'm not going to use it for any of that. Um, I'm just going to use that as a photo mat in this particular case. All right, so I'm kind of looking at my supplies. I still have all my December daily supplies out because I'm not done scrapbooking Christmas. So I just pulled the chipboard from the L Studio December documented kit. And these are the word stickers from the December documented kit. And I'm just going to put those up on my mat, which you can't really see because it's out of frame at the moment to remind myself to use them. Otherwise, I like to forget that and then I add them at the very end. As a matter of fact, I did that with one thing here and I'll kind of get there eventually and tell you where that is. All right, so kind of auditioning other things here, thinking about perhaps journaling on here, which um, I do and trying to figure out how I want to do that. So I cut that label there and that label says Merry and Bright and it's it's from the L Studio Tis the Season cutouts. So I kind of like how that is sitting up there at the top. And I know I want to do something around the um, green paper, but the first thing I really need to do is kind of determine my title if I'm going to do that. Um, <clears throat> and I wanted to use red there, but I was also thinking for part of my title um, and I decided I wanted to call it Santa Sack Joy. 
And this black alpha is perfect for that because it's a fairly large alpha, but since I only have three letters in my title, it works really well for that because I can tape up, take up a lot of space, but because it's only three letters, it's not that big of a deal. And I think I was thinking black for that at least one of the words in the title just because the photo is dark in a lot of places. So I saw, thought it helped balance it. And I just went to my chipboard sheet. You saw me do that where I grabbed that black label and the black heart as well because I decided if I was going to have black in the title, I would need to do black somewhere else on the layout as well. So it kind of made sense. So the red glitter alpha that I'm using is from American Crafts. It's the Thicker's Journal Alpha in red. And the story behind me finding that Lily B paper is that I was going through one of my older like Christmas folders where I have some things in it, or it wasn't even that, sorry. It was my Lily B folder. And I discovered I had a few Christmas papers in there because they were turned so the B side of the paper was actually showing and the Christmas prints were not in there. And I found this Santa print and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to use that. I love it. And especially because my my um, then four-year-old grandson, he's since turned five, was so into Santa this year. It just made sense that somehow I used that Santa paper on a layout that was about him. And so um, that's what's really cool about this. He's opening his Santa sack. So Santa brought him a gift in this sack. And he just, he was overjoyed by Santa. The look on um, his face is like one of wonder. I think it's a little hard for you to see that, but in the photo itself, you can really see it. So just the, it, the Santa paper was so completely appropriate for that. I was very excited that I got to use it and in a fairly large chunk, considering it's a pretty busy paper, but you definitely get the idea of what's there on the Santa paper. So I almost have that down. And now that I know how much room that title's taking up, now I can really get into the embellishing piece of this layout. So I loved that chipboard circle from the December documented L Studio kit that says Santa stop here because obviously he's opening the Santa stack. So Santa is stopped there. And then I have that little chipboard piece that says ho, ho, ho up to the right of the title. And then I put that black chipboard label at the bottom of the photo. That will move slightly, but it'll stay in the same general uh, vicinity there. Now I am thinking about using that ho, ho, ho up there. I will move that though. And then I have that little red star up there, but I took those off because I didn't like how they worked. And I wanted to use as many Santa things on this because I don't really have a ton more photos to talk about Santa. So um, it makes sense if I use them now. Now I'm also grabbing those little puffy circles. I have the Santa kind of in the middle cluster there. And those little um, circles there are from my mind's eye, the um, Oh What Fun collection, and it's the puffy stickers there. And I've decided that I'm going to move that Ho 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 label. And that was from the L Studio Little uh, Tis the Season Little Snippet labels. I'm moving that up to the top of the photo. And then I'm taking that black chipboard heart from the December documented, L Studio December documented collection and I'm going to move that up towards the top. I also did put one more of those little Santa puffy stickers on the black label and that was the My Mind's Eye stickers that those came from. So I need to get my little photo cluster stuck down there so I know where to put um, my embellishments on the side and things like that. So now that I kind of have an idea of what I want the clusters to do, I'm going to glue this down. And the reason I waited was because I thought if I wanted, if I needed to move the main photo cluster to either side, I would didn't want to have to unglue it all. All right, so I'm sticking down that little ho 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 chipboard 
with the little uh, Santa there. And I'm going to come back. I don't remember if I do this on camera or if I do it afterwards, but I actually put a little foam tape under it. Actually, I'm going to do it now um, so that it doesn't rock. And then I decided instead of putting that label right in the center of the photo because the whole, whole, whole up on the top is more in the center, that I would put that black chipboard label kind of um, more towards the side. So I'm just gluing down the main pieces of the clusters for sure that I know. In my mind, I'm probably going to be an, um, adding more to them, but I'm not quite sure what that will be yet. And I'm having problems getting the um, liners off the chipboard here. Sometimes I just pull it off and go down to the chipboard itself because it makes my life easier. Okay, I have that done. Or just about done there. And now I'm going to work on that little cluster with the ho-ho-ho label to it. And then underneath that star, that chipboard star from the December Documented Collection, I used um, a black uh, word sticker from the December Documented Kit that said this moment. And again, that just brings the black up. So I've got black in each of, well, I have black in... Um, three clusters really and I'm going to count the joy as black in the fourth cluster there. So it's, it's scattering across the page and kind of leading you around the page. Again that's just a trick to move your eye. And then I I have that little word sticker there that in red that says uh, Santa Claus but I'm going to move that down by the ho 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 because I liked that white sticker with the red printing that said magic is in the air. I like that a little bit better um, at, in the top cluster. So I'm going to quick do my journaling. And when I show you the still shots where, that, where I just journaled with the black label, I put a little ho, ho, ho puffy sticker there from um, the Pebbles puff, puffy stickers. There's my still shot and a couple of detail shots. Hope you're all well. And I'll be back with another layout again soon. Bye.